One, two. One, two. One, test, one, two. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Basic Materials Project. Uh, C++, as simple as possible, on Linux Fedora Workstation 35. So, I've already laid out the, the roadmap, uh, what, what we're looking ahead to do. So, uh, we're going to get busy in the next couple of projects by... Uh, building an, uh, a Linux Fedora Workstation 35 C++ build uh, as simple as possible and uh, we're also going to couple it with uh, a, a Linux Fedora server as well so we're going to also build a server and uh, set everything up uh, to carry along you'll probably need two computers or two laptops a PC or a laptop, and you need a, a, a network router or a network switch uh, to be able to link everything uh, all together. Uh, we'll cover everything, basically. Uh, obviously, we're moving it uh, something that's a bit more complex, uh, so just uh, get ready for that. It's not going to be too difficult, really, to be building it for a long time, whatever, you know, so it'll all be good by now. Of course, we'll find a way of getting uh, Dogecoin built as well. We've still got to figure out all of that. Uh, yeah, so the intention is to uh, build a home network. Uh, and we could do all of the uh, Linux, Apache, MySQL uh, and PHP. We would look at include LAMP stack as it's commonly known. So we can drop uh, Algorand source code on top of the web server. Of course, uh, there's a billion odds and ends that are going to making it up. Uh, Apache web server, of course, needs configuring. The MySQL database will need configuring. Uh, and uh, the server side stuff will need configuring uh, as well. So... If all in all, it probably take, it shouldn't take too long these days. Of course, if you know about virtual machines, you can create a server on a virtual machine on your computer and just remote remote log into it virtually. Uh, we get to see how it's all made. Uh, and of course, once we've got all of that uh, up and running, uh, we can have a look at the firewall and we can look at accounts, security, security certificates as well, uh, SSL. And we also look how we can remote uh, into it using Secure Shell SSH, uh, as well as build modules and, uh, and get them going as well in the background. So they're always there, like uh, services. And yeah, we can uh, do a bit of HTML, a bit of JavaScript and CSS, is it? Cascading style sheets as well, which. Generally speaking, is what most people out there in the world are interacting with via the uh, via the internet. It's just that once we couple the workstation and the server, we get access to uh, a, a lot more functionality, and that uh, it's all also about bringing on teams and working together in, uh, uh, in projects as well, because uh, obviously. There'll be a, another project after this project cycle is completed. Uh, so after we've coupled a workstation with a server uh, via a network route or a network switch, uh, we've you create a, a develop and test environment. Uh, obviously, so we started out with a simplest, as simple as possible, the ASAP C plus plus ASAP on Linux Fedora workstation thirty five, and then we added more complex stuff to it with Git version control Git G. And stuff like that, uh, and uh, once we get to the other side of this, then what what we'll do is so, so this is kind of like the second phase, really. So we'll build the workstation thirty five. It's easy to do. Uh, we'll build a server as well. It's pretty easy to do. We'll throw them together. Uh, we'll use two computer base units. Uh, just to get used to the idea of throwing together network segments and stuff like that. Obviously, once you've got the Linux server and you've got the workstation, uh, there's some stuff on it about uh, how you can install 
uh, Lance Fedora Workstation 35 over the internet, so you could then theoretically take any blank desktop PC or any blank laptop and you could just plug it into the Ethernet and turn it on and it will automatically install uh, the Linux workstation on it as well. So once we've got these basic projects sorted, uh, it allows us to go on further. So, uh, yeah, you could then obviously add every, everything else to it. Uh, user accounts, security, virtual private network. Uh, you could uh, have complex software made available to all of your domain name members. And obviously you can expand that out. Uh, the third phase is to have a public facing server that's out there on the internet that people can actually get to and is part of the general public internet as well. So there's like the private public keeper like that. In uh, So you have that duality. But that'll be like the third basic materials project in this series. This When we're on, moving on to the second phase now, or project two, is where we're going to build a Linux Fedora server and we're going to couple it uh, via the network router uh, with a workstation as well and uh, we're going to go through all of that uh, once we've done that of course uh, we'll then uh, know that uh, we can build a web server we can build a website we can build a database we can do a bit of HTML JavaScript cascading style sheets uh, we can drop a uh, everything onto a, a developer web server uh, and if we think it's good enough for a, a release same with the software that we're building with the RPM build if it's good enough for release then we could make that uh, public and obviously in industry uh, it kind of, it's kind of how it goes in industry as well so after you finish this do we take on the third project stream uh, which will be uh, making it all available to the general public. So what in that phase you'd have uh, your workstation, your home server or your project server. And then obviously you then, uh, after we've done the secure sockets layer and secure shell and we've added and removed modules and done a bit of programming here, there and everywhere. Uh, we could even build a bit of Ethereum smart contracts. Uh, a lot of people are asking for that. Uh, developing for the blockchain uh, which is achievable uh, using the open source paradigm uh, and obviously you can do go on to do WordPress you can create your own web obviously uh, to get a bit more complex and a bit more serious we'll be looking at uh, coupling the C++ ASAP bundle uh with the web server as well, and we can have a look at doing uh, our own. We'll build a Dogecoin blockchain, uh, and it'll be a private blockchain, and we'll add and we'll add uh, transactions to the blockchain, and we'll do all that uh, once the uh, this project, the second phase of the project is complete. We'll be able to demonstrate uh, creating users, building machines that can be installed remotely over the Ethernet. Uh, for example, say for example, if you're managing a couple of hundred computers at work, uh, for example, show you how to do that, uh, set up security accounts uh, and stuff like that. And uh, once we've achieved the uh, coupling with the workstation and server duality, or dual pair or whatever with the network switch, so it's a trinity really. Once we've achieved that trinity, so uh, we'll be able to build into the C++ more complex features and really get a good look at what is actually occurring uh, as well in the source code but also over the internet uh, between the you know between the client and the server so we can have a good look at, at how a web server like Apache, uh, MySQL, PHP, the LAMP stack works and we can also have a good look at uh, how JavaScript, HTML and CSS work wherever you are in the web browser or wherever you are in a, in one of these locally installed bundles, HTML app bundles, so you can get to see how it all works. There's loads of stuff that it depends on. There's a lot of chains of interdependency 
Uh, we mentioned previously about the complexity of the build environment and one little change, how to propagate it all the way through the build to the end user. Obviously, once we've got the server set up, we can set up any kind of server, whether it's a database server, it could be a blockchain or a Bitcoin server, etc., etc., etc. Of course, that installation program is a different procedure than doing it for your local workstation. Okay, so, but in order for it to be able to provide that service, there's a minimum amount of complexity needed. And that, uh, obviously, in the next stream, uh, we're going to couple the workstation with the server via a network router, uh, basically. However, that's not the be-all and the end-all. As a matter of fact, that's, that is the training ground where we'll be able to build C++ applications. We'll be able to build web service applications that have talked to one another, whether that's buying and selling them with cryptos or, you know, having... Uh, any anything provided over the web, uh, you know, as a developer and test environment, you get to see it in its full complexity, because really, there's kind of the, kind of like not dealing with C plus plus C plus plus, but we're trying to get it to work, so you can be successful, because uh, you know I mentioned it before, your computer programs and what what have you are pretty good at it by now, but it's getting it to work like in the real world. So, well, uh, look out for that. And of course, after that project, we'll do the next level of project, which will be hitting. Uh, we'll use the basic materials website, uh, is it? And we'll show how once we built the client side, the workstation Fedora thirty five, and the simplest build environment as simple as possible, the C plus plus ASAP on Linux Fedora Windows thirty five. We'll build the uh, Linux Fedora server. Okay. And then we'll bring them both sides together. So creating a building and configuring a server is the other half of uh, the knowledge, as it were. And you actually need both sides to work together wholly, like uh, into in the terms of integration, and uh, and that because you'll get a heck of a lot more out of your developer, and you'll push them towards more real world projects and of course once we've got the server set up we can set up git and git g as well for many participants it's the same with the uh, ldap vpn domain name system dhcp uh, and login user accounts that uh, wherever you are in the world you can hit it and all your applications and your backup cloud will be there and you'll get to see how that is provided uh, in in industry, it's a big business, really. Client server architecture, so you have the, which is really workstation versus server architecture. Of course, once we've done all that, and that's going to be a big slog getting the uh, Linux Fedora server built, uh, uh, installed, and have everything set up working uh, great. So that's that's another big job. But once we've got that test bed, we can begin to build C++ applications. We can drop modules into the server itself. Uh, we'll show how it's done later on. Uh, yeah, and we can do the collaboration. So, for example, we'll uh, bring on board as many developers into the C++ build as we wish. Uh, everyone can get a, a username, password, an email address, uh, a security key, an SSL key. Uh, and privileged users will uh, log on to the server remotely using secure shell to stop and start a variety of servers like, for example, the, the Apache web server or the MySQL database, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so we can't actually do that individually on a workstation. I suppose we could, but that kind of defeats the object. Like The object is to uh, have that trinity of workstation broadband internet router switch a little network switch and this the server itself so bear in mind once we've completed that and set everything up uh we'll then go to uh, the basic materials project and we'll show how, how you link the main website and the main web server uh with the general public the whole wide internet uh basically so you can have your workstation where you do all the developing the server side, where you do all your testing and interactivity and what have you. And then you have the public clone of the private server at uh, the website. And we'll show how we can build uh, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, uh, Algorand 
etc., and set it on the server so the wallet and its features and functionality are available to everyone. And the same with the uh, JavaScript, the HTML, and the CSS. So we can get to look at how uh, something like a Coinbase works, basically, or a Kraken Exchange works. Something that you can't really achieve any other way. Obviously, at that level, uh, we're talking industry standard. So, so we're going from the beginners, C++, ASAP, as simple as possible, uh, on Linux Fedora Workstation 35, and we're starting there as our base player, creating a developer environment so we can do an iterated build process, taking our C++ through its own generations as our applications get uh, more and more, more uh, technical. And obviously then we show as well the, the test environment, test build, how to bring on uh, additional members to the, the, the domain name, etc., etc., and how we can work collaboratively anywhere in the world via a VPN tie-in and have access to all of our tools, uh, whatever, that happens, uh, whatever that happens to be. And we also show how we can build stuff on the workstation as a service and sit it on the line of server. Okay, so we'll do we'll do crypto wallets for that one. So we'll show how we can make our website have its own crypto wallet. So when people land on the web page, if you're involved in basic attention token advertising, for example, we'll show how every time you hit hit the website or whatever, you make a little bit of basic attention token due to the advertising program. We can see how it all ties in. But for us to achieve that level of complexity and most people in the internet, they're just pressing buttons. They don't really care how it works or not how it works. You know, they're buying and selling foreign exchange or buying and selling crypto. Or you can trade it on eBay or Amazon. They have their own little online stores, what have you. Same for teaching materials as well as lectures. Uh, we'll probably see evolution in that space this year. But that being stated, however, everything else still depends on the C++ ASAP, basically. Uh, it's just miles more complex, and they've been doing it longer, so they've got a bit, bit more experience, a bit more expertise. So, yeah, generally speaking, we're going to go to the next stage, uh, and after we've completed that stage, we'll do a couple of C++ demos, how to make C++ apps, you know, talk to the background web server, or your own personal service. And we'll show how you can use SSL to log on and log off securely with the encrypted uh, transaction layer. I think it's called, uh, and also we'll demonstrate remotely controlling a web server using Secure Socket Shell, Secure Socket Shell (SSH). All right, uh, yeah, and we'll put on the Dogecoin bit crypto onto the web server, uh, and then eventually we'll push the build into the real world. So by that time, so that's the next layer on top of the complexity. So we push all of our development into the real world uh, for our customers or clients or for our end users as well. So on the private side, the virtual private network side, we'll build all that uh, using all of the features on the Linux Fedora server as well. And maybe we'll do a couple of demos like how to use uh, install remote, the remote install capability so you can take a, a laptop or a PC, assuming it's got the necessary BIOS or UEFI or whatever, and you can just plug the Ethernet cable in and you can have it load over the Ethernet, uh, basically. So, for example, you could build lots of computers and install them all with Linux very quickly. Say, for example, in a production run, you may be running a small office, etc., etc., etc. And, of course, we'll show how to uh, use the cloud as well as you can have cloud storage, while well, you can sit things on the web and get get things to and from uh, people. Obviously, on server, uh, the Fedora server, you can build email, uh, user accounts, virtual private networks, uh, secure web browsing, uh, databases, uh, and uh, obviously you can have applications installed on the server, but your client application bundle you could interact with the service or we'll show how you can remote uh for example like you could do a blender farm an avid render farm for example or you could just tap into the power of your web server uh even to mine cryptos like really there's you know 
you know, sky's the limit, really. Of course, your internet service provider bundle has to be uh, isolated hosting or uh, non-shared hosting for you, for you to be able to do all that uh, out there in the real world. But certainly as a developing environment, as a test project, getting yourself a Linux Fedora Workstation 35 coupled with a network switch uh, and the third component into the Trinity is a Linux Fedora server. Uh, yeah, so we can see the stages of evolution now. We started with the simplest. We're now going into far more complexity. However, we're able to achieve miles more because of it and eventually we'll cap it off and then we'll push it to the general public for our publicly available web server as well. So it's a heck of a lot to go, really. Uh, yeah, so... S yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, we'll keep the channel updated as and when. So we expect this to say uh, all month. So certainly by the end of January, it's something we'll have achieved by that time. Uh, obviously, we have to be realistic as other things that are going on in life. Uh, yeah, all right then, Sal. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, until next time, uh, like and subscribe.